So here are dedicated metal fab students here. 5.02 in the morning. Some of them staying warm in the truck. We got our bus ready to go. I'm saying that semi muth and, and amber amber yester. Is that semi and amber? <laughs> Out running early morning. Uh, all right. Registering now at RCC, Road Community College. And this is their welding area, the high tech center. You know where you're headed? Nope. Not yet. Not yet? They look like they know. Let's follow them. Advanced. Advanced, go down through this door. And then on the right side, there's a corridor. Go down through the corridor. Stick advanced. Take advance, same thing with him. Hey. I have some memorabilia. There you go. Keep record. Yes. There you go. Let him mess some stuff up. Get it on camera. <laughs> oh. And we stalled here. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get another. Let's go get him. Talk to the people out there. I'm gonna go get him. If not, I'm talking to Todd. Yeah, I'll go with you. Authorized access for you. Hey, I'm good luck. Down there. Hey, what Thank you. 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 Right over here. All Cooking right. some okay. stuff up. So they're doing their little projects here on each station. Nice. And then they're doing the vertical mill. Yep. On the far end. All right. We've got the students and we've got some instructors. Basic hand tools is on that blue shelf that way. Yeah. All right. We got cutting. Oh. And mid. This, this are Nope. This is stick. And um, guess. Shielded arcs this way, and then we got oxy cutting out that way to the right. Yep. Oh, out yeah, the out the right. That, it's out there. Yep, and then we have MIG and TIG down this hallway. Yeah. They're actually taking their certifications for solid works uh -huh. in this room. Yeah, he was just here. I believe yes, he sir. Doing the, the tests and stuff online. Yes, sir. All right. Yep. Well, and that's it then. Yes, sir. That's right. it. Good deal. Yep. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Here we are. We're cutting out here. Yeah, they're working on it, I think. Out there. Yeah, they're working on it. 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 Out skills competition huh yeah so what do you have to do are you TIG or Megan or I'm gonna be Oxy? doing gas metal arc welding so MIG and using quarter-inch steel and 
and this is the welds that we're going to be having to do, so. Uh -huh. Explain them to me because I'm not sure. I... All right, so these are some of the different um, codes that you use with welding. 2F Down is horizontal. Hand. 3F or F3 would be vertical and then F4 is overhead and then F1 would be a flat position. So in the overhead position, say that will go there, you'd have your pieces of metal like that uh -huh. and that weld right there would go in between those two. So, uh -huh. And then right here you have vertical, so vertical you're welding down. So. So are you all ready for this? No. No? Not at all. <laughs> but you're going to try it all out. Oh, I'm yeah. afraid. Way to be. Well, did it come out like you wanted? Uh, not really. The 6011 made me uh, work a little bit worse because I've been used to working with 7018. So did you make it pretty or strong? Uh, kind of both. Kind of both. Good job. Hole 11. Man welding team is out just chilling on the grass. 1,600 pounds, Far okay, steel. give or take. Um, Donated that. Secondly, um, all of the welding prizes uh, are courtesy of Industrial Source, so you're probably talking 4,500 bucks. <laughs> and now this is for you guys. First off, I say this every year, you need to thank your instructors because they're going home to a mess. Okay, I thought high school long enough to know that sometimes some things don't work out. So you need to thank them. Secondly, when you're in the hallways, you need to thank the principal and vice principal because you did not have to come here today. They granted the, the privilege for you to be here, okay? And we appreciate you coming. Um, we want to thank some new schools, uh, North Bend, Douglas, and Myrtle Point. Okay, so thank you guys for making the trip because y'all got up really early along with Marshfield. Okay? <laughs> And Illinois Valley, that's an always an early trip for them guys. All right, okay. Um, what you folks did today was, even if you're not gonna be welders, machinists, drill press operators, tap and dyers, whatever, was, was a step in the right direction for you as far as kind of finding a career path, right? The average wage of a 22 year old in the United States right now is 14 and a half, 14.75 an hour. The average wage of one of our graduates right now is about 16.50 to 16.75. So. If you were, and that's starting, most of our guys get, a, most of our stu uh, students get a bump in 90. Some of them get a bump in two weeks because they're pretty good. All right, some are more, some are less. But right now for welders, uh, 2023, uh, the AWS uh, projects a, a shortage of 375,000 welders in the United States. So if we break that down uh, by state, you know, you're talking 6,000 welders per state. Some more, some less, give or take. So you guys, everyone in this room has got something on their, their side that myself and Mr. Foster and Mike Bowler don't have. You got time. If you identified what you what you want to do right now, I don't care if it's EMT, I don't care if it, you know, diesel, I, anything that you want to do to better yourself, your certificate in massage therapy, whatever that's going to better yourself and make you more employable, if you do it right now, the amount of money that you're going to make is going to multiply itself exponentially over 10 years. We have what's called a lost decade. Uh, give or take a year, the average age of our students is 28 to 30 for a first year student. So that's 10 years of earning power those people have lost. And that's not a bad thing, don't get me wrong. They went out and made their way in the world and they're coming back for some retraining. We encourage the state of lifelong learners. But what we don't want to see is you to come back here after 10 years of, of hating what you did when you could have transitioned out of high school, filled out your FAFSA as a senior, walked in our doors. If you like what you saw over there, 
don't don't just take one don't just take welding classes take a welding class take a manufacturing class take a mechatronics class figure out what you like look it doesn't hurt my feelings when somebody walks up to me and says todd i don't really want to weld it's what i thought i did and i don't want to and that, that's fine let's move on let's find out what is for you okay so make those calls now because when you get to be my age and i was fortunate that somebody pointed me in the right direction um you're going to be happy that you're going to be in the position you're in, okay? Um, I know the number one thing we get from high school seniors is, I don't want to go to college. You know what? We're not college. We're an extension of what you like to do. If you like welding, show up. We